Hello people, welcome to my channel, my name is Ashley, how's it going? I hope you had a splendid weekend. We spent time with family and friends and did stuff. Yeah, hope you had a good weekend. I don't know. For some it might be good to be, you know, end up in jail. It was a good weekend. Had some fun. Hope you didn't get arrested. I don't know half the time. I don't know what's coming out of my mouth. No, what, where am I? What's even going on? I don't know. So, as you can read, as you can tell by the title, if you read it, what cycle is continuing from past life relationships into these relationships that you're going through today? Could be romantic relationships, or it could be with family and friends and just relationships. So what cycles are continuing? I opened up my Etsy shop. I have one thing listed. I'm just gonna see how it goes. Also plan on like just showing a lot of eyes and a lot of different wrapping styles. Also comes in this wrapping style with silver, silver titanium, bronze or antique bronze, whatever that one is. Anyway, so you know you're interested, check out my Etsy shop. Got group one, this hair, gothic, pink eye, pink dragon eye. Two, the blue, gothic y, it's a little more Victorian steampunk from this one. Anyway, I made this for someone and they never claimed it, so I'm gonna hold it for a while longer and then. Whatever happens, happens. Then three. This one's very steampunk. Steampunk alligator eye. Alright, timestamps will be in the description box below. And in the comments. Also, if you want a private reading, in the description box below. And I'm going to say it through everything. One question is a dollar and 11 cents. Three questions, three dollars, 33 cents goes up from there goes to angel past life angel reading and I do twin flame readings also offering mentoring if you want someone to talk to about psychic things you want me to read your cards when you have a dream whatever that's three dollars and 33 cents a month oh, oh. <laughs> I think that's all I need to say. Okay, let's get started. Where the fuck am I gonna put this? That's scary, it's gonna fall. Got it. So, group one. What well, cycle is continuing? You got the mouses in your home. That's it. This it feels like moles in your home. Just sketchy behavior in your home. It could be family members. It could be a loved one, a romantic partner, loved one. You know what I'm saying? Three of cups. I'm just gonna lay them all out. Three of cups. Six of swords. Message. Do I have enough for? Fidge and start delegating. Well, 
lot of repeating numbers here, like the threes, the fours. Okay, maybe not a lot. It's threes and fours. You'll be seeing a lot of threes and fours. So the cycle that is continuing. I don't know. Could be partying the alcohol. People not listening to you, being sketchy, going through your shit, through no boundaries, no privacy. Thinking of a mouse. They give no fucks. I say drinking because it looks like she's nursing a hangover. And she can't even stay in to see the line. People having to carry her home. So this could be the. You're dealing with alcoholics. Drinking. Partying. Give me some clarity. What is this cycle? What's going on here? Meditation is going on. Just meditation. Or this could be what's going on in your head. Everything's fine, hunky dory. You know, you find your peace, you got your meditation, and then it starts. This is worry. Worrying about a living situation, a home, loved one, romantic person. Then it gets into you're having a panic attack. And people have to help you to calm you down. This cycle. You might message people, talk to them, you find your calm again, and then you go back to meditation, and then it goes like this. High Priestess of Spirit. So you were probably around someone who made you question yourself all the time thinking an ex person you know in the someone you had a relationship a romantic relationship with for the majority in the past this is something you need to heal you need to trust yourself and believe that you know your spirit your higher self knows what is right what is wrong and you don't need to continue to worry about a little shit a little shit that's not in front of you that you can't control dreams premonitions you could be seeing a lot of eights too by the way and sevens I've seen sevens like crazy anyway you're having these dreams it's coming from your spirit but the doubt it's like that's never gonna happen for me I'm not good enough ABC reasons blah, 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 why it's not gonna happen so you have to, this is about you, know your self-worth, you deserve what you see, it is your soul and this, yeah, these go really well together because, you know, when you meditate, you're connecting with your higher self, higher self sees vision, sees what is coming, what is going on, and this is ego, you're in a constant battle with your ego, trying to determine what you deserve and what you don't deserve. You deserve this abundance, this happiness. 
So stop lying to yourself and stop worrying so much about what you deserve and what's right, what's wrong. Ask others for help on a deeper level. And conclude this cycle. Like the shot the slender book shot on it. So you don't need to do that anymore. You're trapping yourself in your own head, in your own worry. This is, you're trapping your higher self. This is your higher self. You're trapping it in your worry and in your ego. You're not letting yourself be free. You are the one trapping yourself. So you're trapped in the situation, in the cycle. You feel trapped, but you're not. It's just a mindset. This cage doesn't exist. You're the one causing to exist mind is a very powerful thing once you dissolve that cage it's not going to be there anymore it's like how can you dissolve it if it's not there the cage is a example of your worry and anxiety it's only there if you allow it to be so do you want to stay in the same cycle of worry and overthinking and going into mania panic attack and shit no break it don't deserve that shit. Unless, thank you. Thank you. Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. And it will. Like once you dissolve this cage, you are going to have so many opportunities golden opportunities to be surrounded by so much abundance is going to blow your mind and you're probably going to start to doubt things but you just got to catch yourself and go back to what you know go back to the facts so what is in front of you right now what do you have okay that is all you need to know if you want a private reading, check the description box below. One question is a dollar and eleven cents, three questions, three dollars, thirty three cents if you want testimonials from people, because I feel you'd be like, that's a very sketchy ass number. Why is it so low? Hmm. I know what it's like to need answers and not being able to afford very much. So I got you. You can check my website for testimonials from people who I've done readings for. 1313 probably the ones is like surrounded by your angels and stuff and so is the three so you you really surrounded by your angels I know I am they're around me right now I feel them they're lingering over my shoulder like a creeper anyway all the details in the description box below you can ask for a video response or email and also emergency readings are 22, 22. I think that is all. Yes. All right. Bye. Hope you have a nice day. Bye. Well, good morning. I hope you're awake. <laughs> is it still morning? It's morning here. It's 931. All right. So, you've got the clouds and the whip, automatically abuse. So, abuse can be from a parent, could be a childhood, childhood abuse, past life, you can be repeating it in this life. The cat is staring at me. Can I help you? You can't have my soul. I point at her. <laughs> anyway, the Empress, the Four of Wands, love, 
bodies of water. Spend time near water such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. Okay, this past life relationship. Okay, it was a past life relationship. I was going to say, trying to say. This occurred in a little cabin by a river, thinking Native American. It's like you were forced to marry someone. Possibly a white man. It was not a very happy situation. And seeing what's happening, feeling it. Mm. And sitting home for me because I'm two parts Native American in this. But it's probably happened with me too. Just put it like that. Shutting the door to ignore the cat. I should say it was not a very pleasant situation. You were forced to do things, forced to act like you were in love. And the cat is being annoying again. Yes. Can I help you? The meow is just telling me you want to be smothered with affection. Who oh, just child. Okay, so what you need to heal is Hello Clyde. Did you realize not you're not forced anymore? You don't have to do anything. You you can say no. Even if you feel like you can't, yes you can. You're not forced into anything anymore. You have the right, you have the voice. Speak your voice. This is part of it. You had you felt you had no say because you didn't in the past life, but that is not now. You can choose who you want to love. And this could be the same sex. Those who matter, who truly care about you, will not care who you love. They will just want you to be happy. And if they don't like it right away, if they're meant to be in your life, they will come around. Or it could be someone, you could be from a small town like me, where they feel you shouldn't mix. Which is pretty fucking ironic considering we're mutts. Like, I am two parts Native American. I'm Scottish. Robbins is a Scottish name. Um, probably some other shit that I don't remember, but we are mixed. Like I said before, two parts Native American, right? So, a Native American mixed with Scottish person, therefore, who it frustrates me so much that my dad is coming around for my sister, who is not dating a white dude. He is black African American, however you say it now. He's coming around. I don't care as long as she's treated right. And his sister, she's my sister. I love her so much. Anyway. So this is about speaking your voice and loving who you love. If you're not forced into anything. You can throw these cards to the side because you deserve this be a mom it could be you want to be a mom too but you couldn't the, the people in the past lives wouldn't let you be a mom you can if you want to be if you feel that is what you were meant here to do be here to do does that make sense if not you get me here if that's what you're meant to do 
here in this lifetime, then yes, do it. Manifest that baby, manifest that your significant other, if you want a significant other to have that baby with. If not, you don't need him. There's plenty of options. Adoption. The other thing that I can't remember the name of. In vitro fertili fertilization. Is it? Either way, the thing. It's on the internet, so who knows if it's true or not. I haven't researched it. But two females can have a baby. You just have to take the bone marrow or something from one to insert into the other. Let me know if you heard this too and if it's true, because that would be fucking awesome. But the thing with that is you can only, there's only be females. So yeah, it's interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh. Okay. Is there anything else you need to know about this situation? Leaves my cords here. Things you need to know. You really need to get out in nature. You could feel really drawn to nature, earth, um, fire, water, you know, it's just elemental. Go embrace nature. Be in your home. Feel you feel home in nature, near water, in the mountains. When the sun shining on me. But you know this. Exactly. Flip the cards on this. No. No more. Be gone. You know, you know what's happening here. You've got the same cards over. Hmm. It's time, it is safe for you to open your heart and love and listen to yourself because yourself knows some stuff. Talking about soul self, not ego self. It's like that feeling that you can't shake no matter any logic or reason coming in. That is soul. And when you're doing something and you're so happy, your soul sings, you don't want to stop. That is your soul. That is your divine passion. Like, I can't stop painting. I just made the twin flame card. I'm going to do twin flame, karmic, and then soulmate, and then do show the cards and then do a reading on which one it is you know yes you show my cards because i'm proud of them hashtag woke okay anything else you need to know any last piece of advice i can give them This message is the key, or the message that your soul is saying is the key to divine love, and love, and happiness, and these cards here, and being having a family and having that people by fence where you're not forced to do anything. If he wants a sandwich and he's like, hey, yo, baby, give me a sandwich. Uh, your foot's work. Go, why don't you go bang me a sandwich? <laughs> I am going need a very special someone to put up with me huh <laughs> I like to argue you need an argumentative person he won't get their feelings hurt when I argue okay that is all I have for you if you want a private reading check the description box below one question is dollar and eleven cents three questions three dollars thirty three cents goes up from there goes into past life twin flame angel readings which is eleven dollars and eleven cents then for emergency readings is uh, 22 22 you can ask for a video or email response if you went in the emergency ones email will be quicker <laughs> also if you do want one of these necklaces, a necklace by me. You can check out the Etsy shop. Who knows when I will have these posted if they're not yet. But you can you can email me saying which one you would want. They come in different sizes too and shapes. You see the oval and it comes in the round. 
is. Okay. Bye. Group three. So there's a reason you were drawn to this. For this right now, this eye, I'm getting Amazon Fighter. Always having to work, 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 work. And protect. She was just, uh, I was feeling very protective. Protection eye. Yes. Anyway, that is you. That's the cycle. You always have to protect. You always have to fix everything. You could be seeing a lot of sevens because I'm drawn to the seven. Seven of wands. So you get the mountain, the garden. The mountain is the climb, the struggle. The garden is celebration. Strength. You could be a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. And then wands, seven wands, obedience, guardian. So you always feel you have to protect everyone and fix everything. Because it's what you did in a past life. That's why you're here. You're probably a knight of some sort. Knight in shining armor, knight of the round table. And now you... You might have, maybe want to be a police officer or work in some kind of justice department, something in law, or something where you just protect people. I don't necessarily see this as a bad thing. Maybe you can be a little too overprotective and controlling. You can only protect and control those who want it. I've had to learn that to have the hard way. I've been to see my mom dating someone who's going to hurt her or someone who seems creepy. I tell her. I tell her. I tell her. I tell her. She doesn't listen. It happens. And we continue on with that cycle. You can only be there and protect those who want it. And those who want it will come to you. life card. It's going to come out eventually. Okay, what else can I tell? What else can I tell? Group 3 boundaries. Slow yourself enough to say no to others. Demands on your time and energy. This could also be about that. You wanting to be there for everyone and you're stretching yourself so thin that you haven't taken the time out for yourself. It's time for your purification. It's time for you to time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind in other words it's time for you to chill the fuck out watch your favorite action movie because i feel you love them action movies like swat steven seagal chuck norris bruce lee jackie Chan. i love jackie Chan. i grew up watching those movies yes when i was a child that's why i'm that's why i have so many issues now yes kidding I'm fine. Also, we landed. When I stopped shuffling, we landed on strength. Another strength one. I think I'll see if we need to tell. I knew it. I told you. I told you. I, told you. I, told you. I, told you. <laughs> I was arguing with my guys. I'm like, I know it's going to come out, but if I say it, you're not going to make it come out. They're like, yeah, we're still going to make it come out. Sometimes it still baffles me that I am not crazy. The voices in my head are real. Spooky. Hi. Yes, go outside. I was just thinking when you needed a thinking when you need to go outside. Detox it it's when you needed to do that card. That it's really focusing on. There's a square rectangle thing around that card. So you really need to do that. 
I was thinking you need to go outside. You've been indoors too long, go outside and get some fresh air. I feel like you like hiking. Like to spend time maybe fishing too. Just in the mountains. Anyway, the past life has evolved your past life memories. Probably where you had to control everything. You were a sergeant lieutenant of some kind of knights, knights, platinum, platinum. You were a knight. So it's like knight in shining armor. Or you fought in wars. You protected people. It's just like far past life, and I feel like it's continued on. You're the protector. And you just want to be there and help save everyone. But in some past lives, you couldn't. And that's rubbed you the wrong way in this life. Like you watched one of your comrades be butchered, slaughtered right in front of you. And you got your vengeance. And now you want to do the same because you feel like you're going to lose someone if you can't save them, help them help them steer them in the right path but you can't save everyone so what you need is learn you can't save everyone you can only save someone who wants saving it's still focusing on that card sacred space create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine connect with your higher self connect with these past life memories else do you need to know? What else can I do to help you? I was gonna tell you to help you. You're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Thank you. And I thank you. So you gotta start delegating receptivity. You gotta ask others for help. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. And divine passion it is time for you to join the police force join whatever group thing you've been thinking of it's like you're constantly drawn to it you see it everywhere i think that's my roommate snoring or a bear a bear got into the house that's why clyde during in here he's scared Anyway, <laughs> something keeps coming up. It could be someone you seek at unconditional love on the bottom. I'm, uh, I'm wrapping this up. Give me a minute, sir. So it could be someone, something that keeps coming up, coming up, coming up. You need to face it. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? What do you truly want? What do you truly want out of this world? It's time to go after it. After it. I don't know why I said it like that. That, that was just too much. I know I talk a lot, but that was just a lot. Switch to Han. It's like when you don't switch your cards right away. So when they tell you to, they get sassy and they just smack them all out of your hand. Okay, I like when I'm coming from Han. Coming from Han. Can I tell you from Han? Y'all are getting a kick out of that. Hi. Okay, what you need to know from Han? Wishing, choices, forbidden, beauty. I just confusion.
What you want? It's just out of your reach. You can't quite have it yet. There's a decision you gotta make first. What is the decision? Tarot for decision. All right. Decision. What do I have to choose between? To choose between. The temperance could represent a Sagittarius. I felt like it was a love interest. Or it could represent peace, moderation, balance. Other things a Sagittarius temperance represents. Hard to believe I'm balanced. I was distracted. And this one flew out to Temperance King of Pentacles. <sighs> I feel like you gotta decide between two people. It's like you're being pulled in different directions. What path do you wanna take? Whatever it is, it's probably gonna end up being about the same way. And ending about the same way. Anything else I can tell them to this? You love relationship, happy ending. Let's go a card to represent each side. Ingram chalices for temperance, study side. And what else do we represent? Other side. Party. I don't party. How you party? So three of cups, three of chalices, cups, king of cups. A reading digging further into this decision let me know because i am curious and i could go on a while but i need to stop to tell me to stop just stop stop just saw 13 13 again stop <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you for watching film private reading check the description box below do one question it's a dollar eleven cents, three questions, three dollars thirty three cents. I just saw thirteen thirty one. Then some threes. What are you telling me? <laughs> and uh, um all oh. hmm. You can ask for a video response or email. I'll get back with you but they'll get back to you usually within a day. Depending what time it is here. I might be sleeping, you know. Usually it's like later on in the day. I get your email. I respond quickly. I just respond quickly. Okay. Okay. I'll let you know when your scheduled day would be. If your scheduled day changes, I will let you know. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. If you want testimonials about what people have to say about my readings, their experience with me, you can check out my website. And I think that is all. Potentially. Yeah. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.